Hey, hon. I've got some really tough news. What's going on, love? How did your meetings with the doctor and the financial advisor turn out? The financial advisor suggested either laying off employees or selling. What about a loan? Our overdraft is in bad shape, and our losses have doubled from last quarter. We can't keep this up. I might have to make a tough decision later. How's my business doing? I'll make some calls. Maybe there's someone who can help. Thanks. I'm at the doctor's now. Don't worry about dinner tonight. I've got us covered. Thankfully, she's still open. Hopefully she can figure out what's wrong with me. Good luck, dear. And stay strong. I know you can handle it, my love. You're truly a blessing. Hey, where are you? Went out with my brother. We're at his house. Okay, but you didn't even defrost the food. What's the point? You weren't going to cook it either way. Who's so lazy that they can't cook a meal that's already prepped? At least at my brother's house, I'll eat a warm meal. I don't have the energy to argue. By the way, my doctor referred me to a psychologist. She thinks that it's a mental thing that is affecting my health because tests showed nothing. So now, instead of saving my business, I'm going to be going in and out of the doctor's office. Feel like just abandoning this? You cannot. My business is failing. I don't think I have a choice right now. I have to focus on the biggest problem we have. Unless you want us to have less income already, you're covering the expenses that used to be covered. I don't want you to have such a big burden. I know, but you need to find out what the problem is. At the moment, you're not very healthy. Very well. I'll let you know when I find out. She says that I'm depressed. And that is why I've been gaining so much weight, even though I haven't been eating as much. She said that I have to reduce my stress. Wow, that is a lot. I suspect that is why your mood swings have been crazy this year. Also, taking medicine. The last side effects, but we'll see how they affect me. I just hope that I'll be able to function well. I'll be on antidepressants because if I cannot, then I don't know what I'll do. Well, I've heard bad things about those pills. Maybe you should just go on a diet. The problem is not my weight here. It's the fact that I'm depressed. I don't care about my weight. Maybe you should. I cannot believe you know what I'm dealing with and you want me to tell you that my weight is my biggest problem? Ugh, it makes sense now. That is why you've been avoiding me. You don't even fit into the clothes that you bought three months ago when we're in public. But people look at us. I've had people ask me if my wife is pregnant. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to do something about that. Wow. Good to know that my husband has my back. Thank you. You know that I always want what's best for you, sweetheart. And about your business? Just retrench people and cut salaries so you can break even. And then have disgruntled employees who don't put effort into their jobs, who will quit because they are afraid that they are ne- and then have disgruntled employees who don't put effort into their jobs, who will quit because they are afraid that they are next on the chopping block? No, I know I can turn this around. Hey, why didn't you take your ring with you to work? Where you always said that we would not leave her rings no matter what we are, okay? Right? To be honest, I don't think I can wait for the meds to kick in. I think I want a divorce. This is out of the blue? Don't take it to heart. But right now, you're just unattractive. You're always depressed and you even have gray hair. Are looks all that you care about? I didn't sign up for this. But you said your vow. Well, look, please don't take it personally, 
but I'm married to you because you and I made sense. You are beautiful and smart. Someone that I wanted to have kids with. You were my type, and now you're just not. I can't afford to go through a divorce right now because of how the divorce will affect my company. It's not my problem right now. Unless you want me to cheat while you're still busy saving your company. Well, today I have seen your true colors. Thank you for showing me who you are. Fine. We will get a divorce. Amy, you have to stop wallowing in self-pity. He has moved on, Mom. Like it was nothing. But that does not mean that you have to slash his tires. What if he presses charges? You cannot afford a lawsuit right now. You have just gotten your alimony money. You can use it to save your business. My business has been nothing but a dumpster fire. Everyone is quitting and clients are ditching. How could you do this to me, mom? I loved him so much. Now he has started dating that bimbo. If you try to understand a person, you will end up even more confused. Ugh, please stop eating yourself to death. I saw your results from the last test. Do you want to risk a heart attack at this age? No, mom, but what can I do? I have no one. You have me. How about you move back in with me? Me putting your house on the market while you think about what to do next. You cannot let him define you. You are so much more than he can ever be. You're right, Mom. I'll move back in with you. Hey, Amy. Want to come for after work drinks? Why not? It's been quite a week, to be honest. I need help. I'm so behind in planning my wedding. And there's something that I found that I'm not sure if I'm okay with. What did he say? He is the perfect man. There is nothing wrong with him. That is what he said, right? He said that he wants my family to pay him a dowry. What? And he's only telling you that now? He said that they do it in his culture. Well, you are marrying into a different culture. Did you try and learn more about it before you said yes to marrying him? Not really. But when he told me, I flipped. I told him that I wasn't sure if I wanted to get married to him. But then he was so sweet to me yesterday. Then he finally explained what he meant. What did he mean? English can be a bit of a problem for him, and that is why we've not been able to understand each other regarding the matter. When I found out, I laughed. He means that gifts we exchange gifts, not money. Oh, thank goodness. Because that would have been complicated. Is that what you're not okay with? Well, he says once we have kids, you want us to raise them in his home country and for us to live with his mom. Well, I don't think that is so bad. His country is part of his culture. I think that you two should compromise, or those differences are going to cause problems. You know what? You're right. I should ask his sister to help me with the prep. She might tell me some interesting things. You're such a wise person. You should be a motivational speaker. I mean, you literally rose from the dust. I have tried, but it hasn't been easy. Looking back, I never thought I would have ever been here. I gave up so many times when I met you. Thank you for being there for me after my divorce. You literally were a savior that day. I had a breakdown in the parking lot. It was the least I could do to help a sister in need. Talk soon. I wonder if you fix your mental issues or your body first. What? Who is this? It's not funny. You read what I said. You thought that you could forget about me so easily. Happy birthday, fatso. If this is a troll, I will find you and teach you a lesson. I'm not someone to be messed with. Calm down, love. What's a bit of banter between old friends? Are you still single? Let me take you out to a buffet. Thomas? Ugh, leave me alone. 
Cyberbullying is a crime. How'd you know it was me? Turns out that in the seven years since you left me, I have picked up the skill of tracking. Oh, and you're at Sunset Hotel. Should I find out which room you're in? Calm down, I was just trying to have some banter with you. It seems to have aged like rotten milk. What do you want? I just wanted to check up on you. I'm in town, by the way. I'm now the vice president of my company. I have an open slot in my schedule, so come and see me, for old time's sake. You sleazeball. Come on. Six years ago, you were begging me to see you just once. Yes, I was suffering from delusion, but I'm happy to say now that I have been cured. Fitting. Help with the weight. Now drop the act of knowing what's better for you. You're still beautiful, I know. Lucky for you, I've acquired a taste for bigger women lately, you could say. Thomas, have some decency, you sleaze. Ew. I will not let you touch me even with a stick. Who would even touch you with the way you looked? Hey, I have a problem. Hey, Riri. What's the problem? Remember my first husband? Yes. He is back in town, and he sent me very inappropriate messages that I don't like at all. What do you need me to do? I need you to find out what you can do about him. I want him out of this town. This is my safe space. I've worked hard. Never thought that after he nearly drove me crazy, I would never leave the house again. And appears that he still has fat phobia as before. He's the worst. I want to do more than run him out of this town, you know. But I'll listen to the boss lady. You won't believe the juicy information that I just found out. Tell me every single detail. We've worked with this company before. They're big, but we're bigger. He's constantly seen with the models, has a very extravagant lifestyle, and is not a good person. But of course, no one says anything about him. Because he's a man in power. I think that I should visit him. Are you sure? Well, what if it triggers you? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I need to do this, okay? He didn't recognize me when he saw me. He was taken aback. He choked on his words. Good. He knew not to contact you again because you're on a different level. I am sorry that you used to be married to such a loser, but I'm so proud of you for the way that you handled it. I wasn't there, but I know that you did well. You're so much more confident than the timid woman I met seven years ago. Well, I was eating anything depressed, and the company was failing. Then my friend Layla convinced me to go out for a night with her. It was nice being around other women. And then I met you. It was your bubbly energy and your intellect that floored me. I knew that I needed you in my life. And then a week later, after we started talking, you invested in my company. I told you to do as you please because I needed a break. To be honest, when I came back to society two years later, I didn't know what to expect. I thought you wouldn't welcome me back. I know that you like to credit me for the work I did for the company, but when the blueprints are ready, genius, only a few tweaks are needed. You have no idea how damn proud of you I am. Thank you so much for taking care of my baby while I tried to find myself. You are already stunning. But you came back even more stunning. Aw, you're making me blush. I know that you don't want to talk to me right now, but would you allow me to apologize? What I said to you was out of turn. Oh, now you have the sense to apologize. 
That's unbelievable. I really don't know what came over me. I was drinking a lot and I was stressed. You were not stressed. You were disrespectful. Seeing you for the first time in years brought back so many memories for me. And I remember just how great you were and how I loved your smile and confidence. I dreamt about you last night. No, you didn't. Ew! Please, just meet me for coffee. I'm so ashamed of the way that I spoke to you. You've changed so much. I shouldn't have been so impatient. What you mean is that now since I'm skinnier and fitter, I deserve respect? What about all the names you called me just days ago? You implied that I was undesirable. I get it. You can have any woman you want because of money. But have you ever asked yourself if they would still like you if you didn't have money? I don't want to see you. I don't want your love, nor do I need it. Google me and you will know who I am now. How did you become so successful? How come I haven't heard of you? You haven't heard of me because we don't run in the same circle. Remember my company? I saved it. I took a two year break while someone else ran it. I came back in along with my partner and raised that company. And now we have built an empire. It is a bit too early for you to apologize to me. You made a big mistake by contacting me in the first place. I am not the weak woman you loved just because I gained a few pounds. Look, I must admit that I've been having a drinking problem ever since we separated. I'm not happy at all about how I've destroyed your life. I might as well have left you in a burning house. What I want is just a chance to say sorry to you, please. Nope. I don't want anything to do with you. Or that burning house you left me. I was a phoenix. I should have known that you would never change. So just because you can't chain me, you resort to leaking pictures of me when I was at my lowest point, when I was depressed? Did you have to mention the time that I slashed your tires? I was drunk and upset. I would moved on within less than six months. Please don't ruin what I have built for myself. I have no idea what you mean. I'm not even in town anymore. You must have a lot of enemies. After all, you're a very famous woman. There was only one person who would hate me enough to do this to me. Even if it was me, what proof do you have? If they label you as unstable, that's just too bad. All this because I refused to give you another chance? Oh, you're on another level of desperation. I am warning you to stop this. How are you raging, Amy? That's what they're calling you. I mean, you got the house, alimony, and your freedom. Yet still continue to stalk me. That's after you emotionally abused me. <laughs> We both know that is not true. Hey, Bestie. Thank you so much for helping with my wedding, despite all that is going on. It is the least that I can do. You've been there for me in difficult times. I can be there for you in times of happiness. How does it feel to be married? Please send me pictures of the honeymoon. You'll be the first one to get any pictures. We're just settling in. It has been a few days here. I like being in this country where he grew up. I can see why he would want us to raise our kids here. There is virtually no crime. The locals are friendly and there is a good education. Well, look at you already loving this country. Feels like you're plotting to leave me. 
Now you know that I would never leave you. On that note, I told him that it was your idea for me to learn more about his language and culture. So thank you. And he thinks that stuff people are saying about you is rubbish. Well, at least someone believes me. Ugh, I hate my ex so much. Here I am moving on with my life, but he chose to try and ruin it. I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're incredible at the wedding, and it helped iron out any hiccups between us. And for that, he thinks there's a solution for you to get back at your ex. Let us say that his family and my husband's family don't get along. How can I do that? By his shares. There are also a few other people selling. That way, you will have more power in the company, handling it in the context that you can approach them first. Wow, I never thought of that. Yes, once had power in that company. I'll make you regret ever nutter. I'll make him regret ever muttering my name. I don't usually condone violence or revenge, but this is going too far and it is affecting my life. Tell Sam that I agree. Perfect. When we return, you can have a meeting with him. Hey, Thomas. Miss me? How did you get those shares, huh? Who did you sleep with? My partner James and I have acquired shares in the company you work for because we have an interest in the field. Why? Is that a problem? You can't own a stake here. I work here and this is my space. You're going to have to get used to seeing me here every day. I'll be a very active member of the board. It's important to look out for the assets of the company. You better get used to this space. Oh, so you've decided that bad press isn't enough to stop you? If you think that I'm going to quit because of you, then you're very mistaken. I'm still going to be here. I won't leave and you can try to sabotage me all you want, but I won't go anywhere. If you do your job well, then there'll be no need for me to fire you. Besides, I don't have hiring and firing power. Making a play for the chairwoman? Are you not aiming too high, Icarus? I am qualified, and everyone in that room knows it. Stick to your job, Vice President. Don't contact me outside of work hours. I'm not your girlfriend. By the way, it's against company policy to date a junior. So with that, maybe ease up on flirting with the interns? I'm not flirting with the interns. I knew you were dipping your hands in the honey jar. Wow. You're a scoundrel! Those were business expenses. I didn't do anything wrong. You're leading a witch hunt against me. Yet you claim to be a professional. Oh, and please tell that lapdog of yours, James, to stop hounding me. I'll send him the information he requested. He's just being nice. Comply with him. And don't call my husband names ever again. You're married to him? Isn't he, like, 17? James is a respected businessman. He's two years older than me. I know he always gets compliments because he doesn't look like he's in his 40s. That's because he's taking care of himself. And since you want to talk about looks, please get a haircut. It's awful these days. And if anyone hasn't told you, the B.O. is terrible. I don't know if you're a self-proclaimed alcoholic, which is still under investigation, or the fact that you realize that you're nothing. Either way, stop being pathetic and make an effort. 
Are you calling me old? I look like I'm 20. What do you mean? You look like you have aged about 15 years since the last time I saw you. You need to be a serious man. You can't be looking like that at your age. You're only turning 42 in a couple of weeks. For someone who doesn't care, you seem to keep your eyes on me a lot. Does your husband know? We don't keep secrets from each other, James. And I know you're a flight risk. You know what they say about keeping your enemies close. Try whatever you may, but there's nothing that you'll find. I told you that we would get you, but you thought I was joking. If I wanted to joke with you, I would join a circus. I expect you to pay the 500000 that you owe this company as soon as you can. If you don't, we will sue you. You faked it. I didn't steal that much money. You had a hearing and it was proven. Stop being delusional. Hey, when are you coming back? Hey, Mom. Had to be here to appoint a new VP. After we fired Thomas, the damage was a lot. We found out even more horrifying things after he left. Thank goodness no one has said anything to the press. We don't need bad press right now. That's good. Have you found his replacement? You know you still have me and James's side, right? I know. It's only a two hour flight. Plus, as a new chairwoman, I have to be present. At least until things are calmer, then I'll be back. It has been a hectic few weeks, but at least we found a VP. I'm glad that your nightmare with him has ended. As am I. I want to see who will hire him after this. Because you know how news likes to travel. I am so proud of you for standing up for yourself and not cowering when they tried to ruin your past in the newspaper. I remember that you told me to get up and not be defeated. Finally, after seven years, he has gotten what he deserved. You should see how he looks now, Mom. He made fun of me for gaining a few pounds, but now he barely has any hair and he's wrinkled. The only way he was getting anyone to date him was because of his money and his role. But no one can stay that way for that long. I knew that divorce was a blessing for you. Now that you have an adoring husband who loves you no matter what, and you have a thriving business, you were the one who won. I did. You did great, dear. We'll talk to you later. Where are you? Why have you not been answering my calls? What's wrong? James and Thomas got into a physical altercation. What? From what James told me, it appears that Thomas attacked him when they were at the store. Since the company took his car and a lot of his assets, he blamed James. James tried to defuse the situation, but you know how Thomas can be. In the end, James mopped the floor with him. Were you there? No. James got arrested. He called me because your phone is not going through. Yes. I've just landed and had big news to tell him. Oh, why did James entertain that fool? Guess now I have to bail my husband out. Dinner is on me tonight. Hey, just wanted to let you know that I'm back in town if you want to hang out. Thank goodness, because Babe and I are relocating at the end of the year, which is in like three months. What? Yes, I just found out that I'm pregnant. No way. I was messaging you to tell you that I'm also pregnant. What? How far along? Two months. I am three months along. Oh my word! Our babies are going to be best friends, as it should be. I also have some tea for you. How hot is this tea? Extra hot. 
We fired him because he stole 500,000 from the company. And he was drinking on company grounds. In addition to that, we took away his car and his company benefits. He went back to my town and bumped into James at the store. He was upset and tried to attack James. And James wiped the floor with him. I got to look at him when I was bailing James out. He looked terrible. Who is going to bail Thomas out? No idea. Oh my god, it was long overdue. He deserved it. True. And he owes us money. Otherwise, he'll rot in jail. Assuming they are not synced, I would like to send you a reminder that we want our money. Oh, I was about to message you. Chill. I've just found a buyer for my house. You should have the money soon. Good. Because if you don't, we will meet in court. Stealing company funds is a very serious offense. Gosh, stop gloating already. I didn't say anything. I can feel how proud you are of yourself through the phone. You're glad that your man assaulted me. You took my job and car from me. And now I have no home. You did that all to yourself. Honey, I had no part in that. Your first mistake was sending me that message. He did pay us back. Haven't seen him since then. I've heard that he's still unemployed and couch surfing, but I feel no pity for him. Meanwhile, I'm on maternity leave while my husband takes care of our two companies. Layla moved away, but we keep up to date on each other's journeys with video calls every day.